वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मोहम्मद नवीद एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट अ रैशनल फंक्शन ऑफ साइन एक्स एंड कॉज एक्स इन ऑर्डर टू इंटीग्रेट सच अ फंक्शन वी यूज अ सब्सिट्यूशन मैथड एंड सच अ सब्सिट्यूशन इज कॉल्ड मैजिक सब्सिट्यूशन few examples of irrational functions of sin x and cos x are shown on screen in order to integrate such a function we use substitution and z equal to tan x upon 2 here x is our independent variable in order to understand this substitution i draw a right angle triangle in right angle triangle our angle is x upon 2 here z equal to tan x by 2 can be written as z upon 1 is equal to tan x by 2 as tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base so in this case z is our perpendicular and 1 is our base now by pythagoras theorem hypotenuse can be written as 1 plus z square under the root now we can, uh, we can find a relation for sin and cos as sin x upon 2 in this case can be written as as sin theta is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse so sin x by 2 is equal to z upon 1 plus z square under the root similarly we can find a relation for cos x upon 2 uh, which is equal to cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse and in this case this is equal to 1 upon 1 plus uh, z square under the root now we need a relation for sin x and cos x by using these two relations we can find a relation for sin x and cos x as sin x can be written as sin 2x upon 2 and sin 2x upon 2 can be written as 2 sin x upon 2 cos x upon 2 since sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta now we can write it as 2 as value of sin x upon 2 is z upon 1 plus z square under the root so we can write it as 2 z upon 1 plus z square under the root Similarly, cos x upon 2 is equal to 1 upon 1 plus z square under the root. 1 upon 1 plus z square under the root. Now this can be written as 2 z upon 1 plus z square. This is value of sin x. similarly we can find a relation for cos x as cos x can be written as cos 2x upon 2 and we can write it as cos square x upon 
minus sin square x upon 2 since cos 2 theta is equal to cos square theta minus sin square theta. Now, by putting values of cos x by 2 and sin x by 2, it becomes 1 upon 1 plus z square under the root whole square minus values of sine value of sin x by 2 is z upon 1 plus z square under the root whole square. Now this can be written as 1 upon 1 plus z square minus z square upon 1 plus z square. We can write it as 1 minus z square upon 1 plus z square. This is value of cos x. Now, we try to solve a problem in order to understand this concept. I recommend you to remember these two values as sin x and cos x. You can easily find these values by using this substitution z equal to tan x by 2. Find integral 1 upon 1 plus cos x plus sin x dx. Now this is a rational function of sin x and cos x. We use magic substitution to find this integral. First, I rewrite this question. We have to find this integral, integration 1 upon 1 plus cos x plus sin x dx. This is our equation number 1. Let, let uh, z is equal to tan x upon 2. First, we differentiate this with respect to x as x is our independent variable, which implies a dz upon dx is equal to derivative of tan x by 2. Now, derivative of tan x is secant square x. So, we can write it as secant square x upon 2 into derivative of angle which is x upon 2. Now, this is equal to secant square x upon 2 and to 1 upon 2. We can write it as 1 upon 2 secant square x upon 2. Now, secant square can be written as 1 upon 2 as 1 plus tan square uh, 1 plus 1 plus tan square x upon 2 is equal to secant square x upon 2. Since 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta. Now, we can write it as, as tan x by 2 is equal to z, 
because z equal to tan x by 2 we can write it as 1 plus z square upon 2 this is value of dz upon dx from here we can find value of dx so we uh, can find dx as dx is equal to 2 upon 1 plus z square dz now we use these values in equation number 1 so equation 1 becomes integration value of dx is 2 upon 1 plus z square dz and 1 plus value of cos x is 1 minus z square upon 1 plus z square plus value of sin x is 2z upon 1 plus z square 2z upon 1 plus z square now this is equal to 2 upon 1 plus z square dz our denominator becomes first we take LCM uh, which is 1 plus z square 1 plus z square plus 1 minus z square plus 2z now 1 plus z square and 1 plus z square is cancel out now this is equal to 2 times integration one upon as one plus plus z square minus z square again cancel out so it becomes two plus two z dz this is equal to two times integration one upon 2 into 1 plus z dz again 2 is cancel out and this is equal to integration 1 upon 1 plus z dz now derivative of 1 plus z is 1 so this integral becomes log of 1 plus z log of 1 plus z plus constant of integration this is equal to log of as we know the value of z is tan x upon 2 1 plus tan x upon 2 plus constant of integration now this is our required answer I hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you for watching this video